What's up, new boy? The least surprising coffee in the box is probably from us. Yes, it is a decaf from Swiss Water Process in Burnaby, BC. That we have decaffeinated ourselves from a buyer's or a seller's group in Matacasquina, uh, southeast of Guatemala City. Um, 1700 to 2000 meters, micro lots, fully washed, Pache San Ramon, Typica Bourbon, Catoyi, probably a bunch of other things. Everybody grows a bit of everything, there's no way you could tell. Um, roasted on a probot, 25 kilo. Anything else I'm supposed to say about that? I don't know. Uh, we buy this from this. We buy these coffees to maximize volume and commitment to a group that is resisting a Canadian-owned mine in San Rafael Las Flores, which is five minutes away from Matacasquina. Uh, all the producers are active in the resistance and maintain checkpoints on the roads as well as multiple activities in the community. Uh, there is a current moratorium on the mine while the government goes through a, what's called a, you know, what they call a consultation process, even though the municipalities have uh, uniformly and unanimously um, rejected the mine. Um, we feel that our responsibility and our participation by maximizing volume at an equitable not determined by us, but a good price would pay 1500 Q. Um, and taking care of transport costs to the mill, all export taxation, um, pre-finance on harvest, um, all these things um, with the idea of uh, if people have that part taken care of, um, they can concentrate on what they're doing, they can maintain resistance to the mine, they can hold on to their farms. Um, nobody's prospering, but um, people are approaching covering costs, which as you look into it, or as you know, is um, towards an achievement. <laughs> we are looking for um, more buyers and participants in our buying group, so holler at us if you are interested. And keep it in mind if you are a wholesale roaster that you can maximize your um, volume commitments to producers by putting your name on lots and then having them decaffeinated. It gives you a cushion to see how the coffees land and therefore decide how you use them, whether you blend, whether you um, feature, or you know, it gives you a third option, which is decaffeinate coffees. We did a mix of coffees that didn't travel well and a mix of good coffees to bolster them. And I think the truism of Swiss water process is that if the coffees are good going in, the coffee will be much better coming out. You have the option, therefore, of controlling the quality of your decaf through buying good coffee. And um, it will be a little pricier than a spot purchase decaf from your importer. but. Uh, you have control over batch size, longevity. There's no mystery. The coffee doesn't die immediately. Anyways, that's it. Uh, thanks for playing. Have fun. <laughs>